What is up guys? It's Razor. And welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. In the previous episode we went through the Henny Mines. Or the Hen Mines, however you pronounce it. And took on the boss there. And we made our way back to the home of the Viera. In this episode we're going to do some hunts. So let's teleport to Jahara. And we're going to be taking on the Inkalados. Let's see. Let me find out where the... Okay, he's over there. Alright. I want to see if the shops over here have anything new to buy. Nope, nothing new. Alright. Just figured I'll check. Just to make sure. Alright, so this is where you get this is where you set the hunt at. Inkalados or Lados, I don't I don't know how to pronounce it. NK Lados Lados I don't know. You know, we can find the Inkalados or however you pronounce it in the shred in the Osmone Plain. Uh, the shred is over here. Could be using four times speed because we already went through this area before. So, no point in using normal speed. Okay, I don't really see it, so maybe you have to clear all the enemies and then come back. Or maybe it's in the other part of this red. Oh no, here it is. 
Alright, so I actually want to exit and do the battle over again. Uh, because like I said, I'm doing an all hump video, so I want to fight it when it's at full health. And there we go. Let's go ahead and take it out. And now, it is time for the NK Lados Hunt. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I... I think I pronounced it right, but I don't know. Probably not. Anyway, let's go ahead and use it as spell mode on it, because it has Protect and Chill. This thing can heal itself, just so you know it has white wind. Which is a classic blue magic spell from the Final Fantasy series. Yeah, and it also has restore as well. Uh, but it doesn't hit very hard as you can tell. It's fairly on the it's on the weak side. Yeah. Alright, so now it's HP's low. So we're gonna use restore again. Get back some of its health. It has purify to get rid of debuffs. We got it, alright. Yeah, very easy hunt as you can tell. And for defeating it, you get a MRA leaf. Encolados. Or Encolados. Vanquished. You can find the Encolados right here. In the shred, in the Osmond Plain. Uh, but you have to clear out all the enemies in the area before it'll spawn. Uh, basically, you clear out all the enemies, you leave the zone, and then come back, and it'll be there. Okay, let's return to the person who gave the hunt. And get our reward. We gotta start spending some more license points as well. So after I turn in the hunt, I'll go ahead and spend some license points. And we'll head to fight some more hunts.
And for defeating the Ankylados or Lados, you get 1100 gil, an ether, and another golden amulet. All right. So let's go ahead and equip that golden amulet on somebody. Okay, so we have to get that leave to a one, to one named Lazina. All right. So we're gonna get that to Lazina later. Probably not in this episode, but a one in a future episode we will. All right. So let's spend some license points real quick. <clears throat> and then we'll go take on some more hunts. Okay, that five hundred HP. Max HP plus 435. All right. Ooh, another swiftness. There's swiftness right there. Nice. Grab that, definitely. Ah, uh, don't have enough points for it. Okay, for Ash, let's get Regen. I also get some battle lores as well. Yay, more swiftness. I'm a, I'm a simple man. I see swiftness, I, I get it. Like swiftness is that good. Ooh, slow. I like slow. Even though I think she already had that. Alright, so that's all the points. Okay, so let's go take on the uh, ringworm, I guess. Oh, we can find that in the Wester Sands. Now, we already accepted the hunt a couple episodes ago, so we can just head right over there. 
how to take it on. Uh, but it only shows up in the... Oh, when there's sandstorm going down. So keep that in mind. Uh, but we'll see if we can spawn it. I'm going to have to look up how to spawn it real quick. I'm not 100% sure where it spawns either. I don't really remember. Oh, okay, it spawns in Wind Trace Dunes. Uh, but like I said, only during a sandstorm. So if there's a sandstorm here, it's probably going to be here. Yep. Alright, so we should be able to find it. Alright, so kind of keep your eyes peeled around here. Kind of go slow too. Don't use four times speed. Uh, because that'd be a bad idea. And you definitely want to hunt this thing while you have Larsa in your party. That way you have an extra character. And there it is right there. Let's go ahead and take it out if we can. This thing is pretty tough. I might have to use quickenings on it. And it starts out with a bunch of buffs, so we have to remove the buffs. Uh, but anyway, let's take it on. And now, it is time for the ringworm hunt. Uh, this thing is actually pretty tough. Uh, there is a way to cheese this ball still, if I'm not mistaken. Or, or this hunt, I mean. But anyway, the first thing... I'm not going to cheese it, though. But there is a way... Uh, if I'm not, if I remember correctly, there was a way to cheese it on the PS2 version. Like, you could, like, stand behind, like, something and use your... I think stand behind that right there. And use your bow and just attack it. And it can't hit you. Or something like that. I might be wrong about that, though. It's been a long time. But anyway, let's go ahead and use it as spell moat. I'm going to fight it normally, obviously. It may be a good idea to take out the other enemies first. Yeah, it has a mobilizer to prevent you from moving. Did we already steal from it or no? Oh, all you steal is a phoenix down. All right. I 
I'm going to use quickenings because this is going to take a long time to defeat this thing. So I don't feel bad about using quickenings. So. Let's do this. Uh, be quick when you use quickenings though. <laughs> Literally. Quickenings. You gotta be quick to use quickenings. I don't feel bad about doing it like I said because there's just this thing has a lot of HP. I never miss. And no way and no way will this quickening finish it off either. There's just no way. It'll do a lot of damage, but it won't finish it off. This is going to do a lot of damage though. Tides of Fate. Heads up. Now, I think that's a water based attack as well. If I'm not mistaken. How about some of this? That's all I could get. Pretty good though. Pretty good all things considered. And we get Cataclysm. We get a WoW expansion. What the heck? Yeah, 17,000 damage, but still. That's not a lot considering how much HP it has. I want something to boost our strength a little bit. Oh yeah, and I want to go back on the Storm Spear as well. If, uh... Yeah. Hopefully it's not immune to thunder. I don't think it is. We do have slow on it, which is very good. I believe you can blind it as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's going to be a long fight. Yeah. Alarsa makes this fight so much easier though because you have an extra... An extra party member wailing on it. I wish we had Berserk at this point in the game though. Not on the Zodiac Age though. I understand why they give it to you so late too is because it's so powerful. Like Berserk is ridiculous in this game. Berserk and Haste is a deadly combination. Let me see what this thing's weak to real quick. Yeah. 
Got about halfway dead though. Okay, I don't think it has an elemental weakness. Oh crap, it got immobilized. Shoot. Oh, ball the ear went down. Crap. Yeah, he's starting to get low on health, so he's starting to beat us down now. Let's get Ash out there, I guess. Start getting protect on everybody. Try not to stand in front of me either because that breath attack. Oh yeah, we no longer have slow on it either. Oh, Traveler does a lot of damage. I think I'll keep spamming Traveler. Oh, it's doing zero now. Come on, we almost got it. Keep welding on it, guys. Alright, we got it. So that took, a, <coughs> that took a long time to defeat, but anyway, Ringworm. Vanquished. Alright, so yeah, that, that one was not a pushover, as you can tell. It had a lot of HP. And it hit pretty hard as well, but we were able to survive. Okay, so let's return to the hunt petitioner. We can head this way and head to the uh, save point over here and then just teleport over there. Rabbin Aster. I want to head back to ba Balzac. Balzac. Or Balzac. <laughs> However you pronounce his name. Oh yeah, just so you know, you can alternate Gizla Plains. From the rains to the uh, regular. I think every time you enter uh, Robin Aster it changes. You, you can tell what it is by looking too. As of now it's the rain, rain season.
Anyway, let's go talk to the hunt person. Grab that chest. Not on the PS2 version, though. The PS2 version, you want to leave it alone. Oh yeah, we gotta turn here. Make our way over this way, down here. And for defeating that hunt, we get 200 gil, a moon ring, and an ice brand. And that dude leaves. So yeah, the ice brand is really powerful, as you can tell. Uh, but it has ice element, which is sometimes bad. Like sometimes enemies can absorb ice or whatever, and or be immune to ice or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. In the next episode, we'll do more hunts uh, because we have a couple more hunts we can do. Uh, we can do this one and, the, and this one right here. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Later.